to Questioning Sense with me, Matt. Okay, um, recently I did a, a list of all Tumnal Stroke Fall um, fragrances and in that list there was quite a few that we'd already reviewed and a few that I hadn't got around to reviewing as yet. So what we're going to do this afternoon, really, really quickly, we're just going to have a quick look at this, which is GOF Trumpers Sandalwood. Now this featured quite highly in my list because it's a magnificent fragrance. Um, and I'm conscious of the fact that I haven't reviewed it as yet. So what we're going to do is a really quick review to just tell you a bit more about it really. Obviously you know I like it. Um, a little bit more about how it performs, uh, a little bit more of its background, my relationship with it and my thoughts upon it. Um, so another little look at the bottle. I didn't really make so much of a fuss about the cap during the autumnal review, but there you go. Beautiful presentation. Very sort of classic looking, sort of exactly what you'd expect to find in a barber shop, which ultimately Trumpers are. They were founded in 1875 and they are the quintessential British or English gentleman's haunt. Um, I think Prince Charles gets his hair cut and his shaves there, or certainly has done. Um, and it's it's a very, very exquisite sort of uh, place to go. Now, the store I went to, there's, there are three, I believe, but the one I went to is in Mayfair. Um, and it's a lovely part of London to be, especially if you're a fragrance enthusiast, because you have Trumpers and in, in St. James's basically, and just over the road you have the Burlington Arcade. So I popped in there when I, when I bought this, so I went into Trumpers first, then I went into the Burlington Arcade and spent some time in Atkinson's beautiful um, British perfumer there. Fabulous, fabulous range, got to sample pretty much everything they offer. Right next door, they are, well, they're right next door to Roger Dove. Uh, Roger Dove's store is there. Then you have Penn Halligans are in there as well. Um, and who else is in there? There's somebody else in there as well. Um, so it's a real, if you're ever in London, the Burlington Arcade is a must visit, as is Mayfair, because you, you're, you're just down the road from Selfridges, you've got Harrods just down the other way, and obviously you're not far from Joe Boy as well. Um, St. Hers is a little further down towards South London. But it's a real hub, it's a real uh, amazing area for people that have an interest in fragrances. Anyway, so I popped into Trumpers, bought this, the kindly, I mean they make such a fuss of you when you're in there as well, there really is, um, it's a lovely experience, it's quite a small place, um, but they're very, very helpful, lots of advice, really, um, it's a very upper class establishment, so you're made to feel very special when one visits. Good morning sir, and how are we today? Blooming, thank you, and you? Radiant, sir. <laughs> Radiant. Um, really uh, generous with the samples as well. They gave me um, samples to take away, the full range that they do in the, in the Cologne world. Um, just a, a joyous experience, really. So anyway, let's get back to Sandalwood. So I've worn, I've just got, got in from work, actually, and I've worn this for work today. So I applied this before I left at about five o'clock in the morning. Um, and I came in, and the time now is 2 p.m., and it's still visible. Yeah, it's still visible. You can still smell it on me. Um, so performance-wise, is excellent, especially when this is a cologne. Now, this would hang with quite a lot of modern EDPs, and it's certainly a, a way above EDT. If that EDP, EDT, cologne, puff um, thing is still to be, you know, if it still means anything, I think quite often it can be taken with a pinch of salt. I think these uh, terms now. I use more for marketing purposes than they are for actual indications of a, a fragrance strength. So always take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. You know how well things will perform when you wear them. And this performs superbly, really, really good. It, um, it projects quite well for an hour or so, uh, maybe more, maybe two hours you get a strong projection from it. But as I said in my top 10 video, this has a really, really good sillage. It hangs in the air around you. People pick up on it. A couple of people ask me about what about what I was wearing today at work. So that's really, really good. What I'll do is I'll spray some now. Um, as you know, I've just explained, I'm wearing it. And then we'll have a little, oh, crikey, we'll have a little look at the notes. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll go from there, really. So at the top, yeah, sorry, but <clears throat> you just get that. I'm not coughing because of the, uh, the fragrance. I'm coughing just because I cough. Right, so on the top you have bergamot, you have lemon, you have lavender, you have clary sage, and then you have spicy notes. And then in the mid, you have jasmine, you have carnation, you have geranium, you have rose. And on the base you have sandalwood. 
You have patchouli, you have vanilla, and you have leather. Um, you do get quite a loud opening. The bergamot and the lemon and the lavender all kind of combine to give quite a boost. Now it's it's one of those where everything blends. You don't, there's nothing more dominant. You won't sort of go, you will pick up a citrus note, obviously, because it is quite citrusy. Um, lavender, you will pick up on as well. The spicy notes are, you wouldn't, I, I haven't got a clue what spices they are, put it that way. But it does give it a little bit of an edge, but it is quite loud. It's a little bit sharp, to be honest. Um, shrill is a kind of word that, that, that comes to mind. But it's, it's an in, it, yeah, it is loud, it is sharp, and it is a bit shrill, but it's still lovely, you know? It's just, uh, it makes a statement. It lets you know it's arrived. I've arrived. And it, it's, you know, you're fully aware you're wearing it because it, it's shouting at you. It's saying, oh, you're wearing me. But obviously it doesn't shout like that because it's a very uh, gentlemanly fragrance. So it'll be, oh dear chap, you are aware I'm wearing, you're wearing me, kind of thing. Beautiful stuff. Um, this is, when this fragrance is at its worst is when it's first sprayed and it's lovely. So that gives you an idea of what I think of how the, the, the you know, the life of this fragrance goes. It's, it's great all the way through. The opening to me evokes so many memories. Now I do think that this is a masculine fragrance, but I am aware that there are, and that's I always associate sandalwood as being quite masculine. Now I'm fully aware that there are lots and lots and lots of feminine fragrances out there that are, are you know are based on sandalwood. So I'm you know I, I know that sandalwood can be masculine and can be feminine, and that's you know and I'm not saying this is either. It to me it's very masculine, and I, I was trying to think why because obviously fragrances do have this wonderful habit of taking you to places. When I was young or younger, should we say? I used to um, train a lot in jiu-jitsu and I used to go two, three times a week. And my teacher um, at the dojo had always wore this fragrance that was sandalwood dominant. And I think when I smell this, it takes me back to going back to the dojo because when, you know, the change rooms, you would have this uh, strong smell of sandalwood. Um, and when you were training, you'd have this strong sort of smell of sandalwood around you. And that's why I'm thinking that I'm going down this sandalwood is masculine route. Now, you know, this I'm. I'd like. I might actually get my wife to to try this because I reckon it will smell amazing on her. But to me, because of this history with sandalwood, I always kind of look at it as masculine. So I need to get my wife to wear it so I can smell it on her, and then hopefully kind of break out of that mould. Because I'm sure this would be fabulous on a woman. It smells amazing on a man, and also because of being in trumpers and there's lots of people in suits. It's very formally dressed. To me, this is a dressed up masculine scent. But that being said, this I think again is my brain putting that into that place because of the surroundings in which I've experienced it. When I first tried this a long time ago, as I said in the previous video, uh, Trumpers were a client of mine when I was working for a courier company. So I had a bottle of this not long after it came out. So this would probably have been 2005, 2006, and I think this came out in 2002. So it's not a scent that I've not tried before, it's a scent that I've worn um, and I loved the fragrance at the time but as I said when I ran out of it I didn't replace it and I don't know why. Now I'm quite a lot older now and this is so perfect for me, I absolutely adore it and I think you know this, this definitely can be worn all year round, I've got no doubt about that but I think this will shine and shine the colder it gets so it's certainly going to be one that I'm going to absolutely hammer over the coming months and I can see me probably getting another bottle of this by Christmas because uh, I mean I do get infatuated with fragrances that happens all the time and I've got a total infatuation with this I think this is absolutely stunning um, please 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 get a, get your nose on this if you like sandalwood because it is all about the sandalwood you've got lots of other notes within this fragrance but it's a sandalwood that steals the show. Everything else is there in harmony. The leather sits around it. Um, I don't really get too much patchouli. The geranium and the rose are there to give it some sweetness. The vanilla gives it a real creaminess. And when this dries down, it has a very creamy dry down. 
and it's it's just lovely. It doesn't ever get gourmandish, but it does get quite creamy. It's a it's a sweet creamy sandalwood. I don't know what more I could want in a fragrance. This is, you know, proper obsession territory. Love it, love it, love it. It will get you compliments and it will make you feel amazing. Um, it is pretty cheap as well. It's I think forty pounds for a bottle, so not expensive at all. Um, if you're in the US, have a look at Trumper's website and see if they ship out that way. And if you're in the UK, you can certainly get it online here. I think you may have to go direct through Trumper's to get it. I don't know if anybody else carries it. Um, but if you're within striking range of London, then please go into town and, and go into the store and buy it. As I say, they gave me, um, I think, five or six samples of um, other things in their range. They do one called Spanish leather which to me smells very much like um, Imperial Leather Soap. Really, really nice as well. I have no idea on the performance of it though, because I haven't really, I've only just sniffed it out from a dab up. I've not, um, I've not worn it. Eucharist as well is another one that gets quite a lot of traction. It has a, a James Bond association. And honestly, you could imagine Bond himself wearing this. This is sort of that kind of, kind of vibe for me. Anyway, listen, thank you for your time. Sorry this is a bit rushed. I've just come into work and uh, uh, some of them, put some comments about um, this on our um, Instagram page. So I thought, right, well, what I'll do is I'll do a follow-up video for the, to the, uh, you know, the 10 that I did for the, for the autumnal one, um, so people can find out a little bit more about it. Really, really, really highly rated by me. I love this. I'm gonna send a, a bit up to Rich because I don't think he's tried it yet, and I know he's gonna be obsessed with it as well. So I'm probably doing him a disservice by sending him a sample of it but I'm sure he'll thank me in the long run. Anyway, listen, thank you ever so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, and we will be back with some more reviews very, very soon. So, cheers.